our garden here in Somerset, we have a wildlife pond. And so as it's now turned into October, John's just going to go around tidying up the plants. It's a job to do before the first frost. Hello, welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. John's been teaching horticulture professionally for over 30 years now and on this channel we hope we can help you develop your gardening skills by showing you some propagation techniques, by helping you with some pest control, showing you how to grow some vegetables and much much more. So if you enjoy learning those things do consider following us by pressing the subscribe button. There's no charge and don't forget to push the all important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Good morning, here we are again, we're at the pond, as we so often are, and last time we came here we took away all the, a lot of weed which was growing into the pond and really making it look a bit overgrown. Um, we could actually do with a drop of rain because the, um, the level's gone down quite a bit. But uh, what I'm going to do today is to tidy up around the edges, and if you look in this little corner here, it, it has really got past it now. The irises have gone, gone too far, they're a bit green but they won't hurt for being cut back and tidied. As soon as we get a frost they die back anyway. So I'm going to cut back the irises, I'm going to take back that little bit of um, uh, water, uh, sort of water spearwort, lesser spearwort, and then hopefully the other things which are coming up through, there's some marsh marigolds starting there, and there's some uh, forget-me-nots, water forget-me-nots, they'll have more space to grow. So I'm actually using my kneeler and putting it on the bed there. Hopefully it won't do too much damage. It's mainly rough plants there. So I kneel there and in I go and I see what I can do about tidying up down here. So I'm taking it all back to ground level. Um, actually, where you've got a shoot like that, is, can you see that little, little growth there? I'm going to leave that because that's obviously the new growth coming up. So I take away these, take away all this old stuff. And actually, as I start working in there, you can probably see that the new plants are coming up through there. I mean, to start with, there you've got, um, take all that away, take that so you can see what I'm doing. But if you look in there, can you see now that I've opened this up and I've got <laughs> it's even a little bit of a or Brita coming through, that shouldn't be there, anyway. Bit of a Jugas actually blending in the edge, it's really quite nice, it hides the edge of the pond. But there, the new iris is coming up, and there's the water forget-me-not. So, I'm going to persevere on in here, and start take, keep, keep, keep taking this out. Look for those new shoots. There's a new shoot there. And in there. And in there. And in there. No new shoot I can see there, but they will shoot up from the I work my way around in here, tidying up and making space. Not doing much damage, so any wildlife will be okay. And uh, there we are. I'm just taking it all away. I'm now going over this way. Right, now I'll take that one so we can see what we're doing. Leave that growth there, we've got some new growth coming up. There we are, that's nice. These tall pieces of water are uh, forget me not, which will just leave today's actually a little bit of So just generally tidying up, making space, letting the other plants come up. That's actually a little bit of a oh, marsh marigold that I'm clearing there. And look what I found. How lovely. A little baby newt. Isn't that gorgeous? I knew I had palmate newts in this pond. And there we are. There's a little baby one leaving. Jolly good. You just say somewhere. I'm going to put you somewhere safe where I've been so that you don't get chopped up. And you can happy have a happy life. That's nice, isn't it? I'm going to take some of this here out because it is growing in a bit much. So what I'll do with that, is it's quite a lot of vegetation. I'm actually going to leave that on the side there. So then any, there's a few snails there. Anything in there? There's quite a lot of ram's horn snails. They can then make their way back into the pond over the next few hours. And I can uh, get rid of this in the morning. This is Ecocetum. It's, it's related to the 
um, the mayor's tail, which is a terrible garden weed. So that's why I've got it in a pot. So I'm just going to keep it in shape. I'll take out these bits which are growing out of the way. Um, there's some broken off pieces here, they can come out. Just to, just, to, just to generally tidy it up. Any dead pieces can come off and I'll keep that in shape. If you look in the middle, you often find these pieces here look quite dead, so let's get that one out. And uh, hopefully by the time I've taken out a few more old pieces like this, we'll have a much tidier looking plant. I'm leaving that because that's actually a uh, Hesperanthus, like the red one we have over there, but that's a white one which I bought last year. So it's probably not ready to uh, flower yet, but it should do next year. So we'll leave that one to get on. And I'm taking these irises back. It'll be firm with irises, pretty thick. Pretty uh, resilient, sorry. Okay. Pull that bit of grass away, that's a bit of Yorkshire frog, which I don't really want growing yet. It'd be quite uh, overpowering if it's left too long. I'm going to leave this because this is a seeding head of the uh, angel's fishing rods diorama so we'll make sure that goes back and hopefully that will seed. What I've done here is I've taken all that stuff which I pulled out and I've just left it in a little heap here above the water and uh, that will give it a chance for anything in there to fall back into the pond and it won't dry out and die. So I'll leave that there probably till tomorrow then that will be clean and I can take it away. Well that's all for today folks, thanks very much for joining us here in our Somerset Garden. If you like that, do consider following us by pressing the subscribe button, there's no charge. And don't forget to push the all important notification bell, it just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Until next time.